Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my little airplane. I hope you're having a good day. I sure am because right now I am currently in Copenhagen, Denmark. Yes, the second city I'm visiting in the Scandinavian countries. I'm so, so excited. I'm currently looking around the city hall of Copenhagen, just having a look while I'm waiting for my free walking tour to start. And I gotta say, this building is absolutely amazing. I love the texture. The designs are awesome. Like I really love what I'm standing here in front of is the fish memorial. You see here, it's pretty awesome. The owls are very cute in the hallway. It's just, wow, very majestic looking. Outside is not the best weather at the moment, but you know, I still wanna take the chance to look around, learn about the history of the city, see what's out there and find some, you know, cool stuff to do, like some shopping places, places to eat and so forth. I am very excited for this trip. I cannot wait. I do hope the weather gets better this weekend because I really want to see the houses, the water in with the clear blue sky. So really looking forward to it. Let's get this day started, shall we? reasons people should come visit Copenhagen? Top reason not to come is the weather. <laughs> we'll say that, but uh, top reasons. Copenhagen has a lot to do with sustainable living, cycling, culture. I think that's a major part of the city. Food scene is amazing. Obviously, we've got the whole new Nordic cuisine thing going on with Noma mm. and lots of restaurants branch out from that. But um, other things, Huga probably the best reason to come here it's a very cozy city you're not overwhelmed it's a cozy place to visit two three days perfect for a weekend break I think that's the best reason to come here and uh, yeah it's just a interesting place uh, Denmark's a small country not many people know a lot about it but they've had a lot to do on the world stage and uh, I think more people should come here also Copenhagen is a great place to do travel from it's sort of like the Frankfurt of the north I think <laughs> it's the best way to describe it that's awesome thank you so much for this yeah, perfect hope you had a nice day So after that very entertaining yet informational walking tour, I came to one of the food markets that's famous here in Copenhagen to try the schmabl. It's a slice of bread with some butter and they put either like fish, meat, ham, shrimp, you name it. I just had the one with the fish, fried fish, and it was delicious, especially the sauce. I think it was really good. After having that delicious lunch at the food market, I came to the hostel that I am currently staying in to relax a little bit. I did wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning in order to catch the flight which left at 6.40 in the morning. So what I did, I came to the hostel to continue editing some videos which by now would have already been posted about Stockholm and Paris. So what I'm gonna do is just continue editing, get some rest, and then tomorrow morning, wake up early enough to visit the new harbor that's close by and take some cool pictures and continue filming them from there. Hopefully the weather will be better than it was today, but you know, we shall see. I will see you in a few seconds. <music> Good morning, it is day two here in Copenhagen, Denmark. I just woken up, well, actually an hour ago, got dressed, got ready, and started walking towards the, what you see here is the new harbor. So I just wanted to see how this place looks like with less tourists and more blue sky. After that, I'm gonna head back to the food court I went to yesterday where I had that Danish lunch to have breakfast because I heard one of the food stands there has an amazing coffee and good breakfast so I'm gonna go check that out after that the rest of the day will be exploring the city probably see the Little Mermaid because why not the Little Mermaid was written here not the Disney story but more of the Grimm story 
the sad story if you haven't heard of the story you should definitely read it I did and it put me into tears it was well written but definitely not happy and go lucky like the Disney version but it's definitely worth a read so let's explore here a little bit and then head over to breakfast I just noticed something while I was walking down the river seeing the beautiful houses right next to me I look down in the river and I'm seeing thousands and thousands of jellyfish you heard me right jellyfish in this river right here this port I should say this port oh my goodness I can't imagine if someone decided to take a swim this morning I don't think that's allowed but just imagine the fact that if they decided to jump in this port all the stinging that will happen I've been stung once by jellyfish actually not even a live jellyfish my sister and I were playing in the sand and then we just happened to find some specks of jellyfish laying around the sand uh, while we were playing and that really hurt like a lot can I imagine jumping in there mm. yesterday to have some breakfast. I wanted to try the coffee here in Coffee Collective, but first I went over to the bakery right next door to grab the pastries. Here you can have a look at it. This looks like there's some seeds on top and there's some jam in the middle, so I'm gonna give that a try. It's really good. It's not, it's sweet, but not overly sweet like most pastries are. So after having that good breakfast, I headed downtown to go up the round tower. Apparently there's supposed to be a spiral staircase to the top and have an awesome view of the city. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Looks like it's going to be an amazing view, cannot wait! Ah, still going up. So I'm taking one step. Oh my goodness! So that must be the bottom of this tower. Hey. Okay. So far, so good. I love to tell you which way is north, south, east, west. Lovely. And that is above. I, you can't really see in the camera, but there is a ceiling up there. That means I'm close. Okay, I'm gonna get off this glass right now. <laughs> it is a little foggy up here, but you can still see most of the buildings of Copenhagen. Also the pedestrian road where all the shops are. So after exploring downtown a little bit, I rented a bike and drove all the way up north of Copenhagen to visit the Little Mermaid, which you can see right behind me. And as you can tell, it's a huge attraction. The statue was inspired by the Little Mermaid, of course, the story written by Danish writer Hans Christian Andersen. She is a beautiful creature.